Okay, this one might be a bit too personal for me, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, uh, right, as an adult, uh, I've discovered that I'm actually autistic or Asperger's, uh, or certainly on the autistic spectrum. It's very difficult to diagnose as an adult, but track back into my childhood uh, is quite clear. So the situation is it anyway. Right, what I was born with, by being on the autistic spectrum, for me anyway, from what I've been told, is that it means that I have absolutely no desire to fit in. It is not, there's nothing in me that says I need to fit in. So there's nothing in me that motivates me to seek approval of others. I just do what feels right to me. No desire, so I don't look to adults to say, tell me how to behave. I don't seek their approval. Of course, when you're a kid, uh, this basically upsets adults. In my case, it particularly upset my grandparents. Result rejected me. So I'm quite a young boy. All my memory is eight or nine, very young, and I'm being rejected by my grandparents because I never actually bothered to seek their approval. And they found that disrespectful and therefore disrespected me back, so they rejected me. Um, that happened, same scenario happened with all the teachers, a lot of teachers I had as well, especially in primary school. So I start to think, as a ten-year-old boy, it's my fault. It's my fault I'm being rejected. Basically what happens is a little late eleven-year-old boy starts to become the victim. I'm the victim of being on the autistic spectrum because I never thought I needed to seek approval of my grandparents. I've become the victim. So what I do, because I'm luckily gifted at sport and I'm quite and I'm good verbally as well, some good ver ver verbal arguments and things, is I use my skills to make other people victims and to blame other people. Yeah, I, I don't just beat them at sport, I thump them at sport. And I do verbal reasoning so that they feel stupid. Because that's what all the teachers, everyone else did in my life. So I'm going to not be the victim by making other people victims. I blame other people. Of course, what this does is spread the crime of the rejection in the first place. So, a little old boy, three or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, is rejected. And it spreads all the way down to the high end spread rejection. And what I've done is I've learned how to break that cycle by teaching myself how to make my own choices about who I am and what I am. In other words, I learned to fit in with myself. That has stopped me from using my skills to spread rejection and blame. And it took me years to do that, and I couldn't have done it. Um, I couldn't have done it without me to my wife, Debbie. Okay? I thought that'd be tough. <laughs> Alright, okay, that's it. I've got to go now. Okay, bye.